Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing the plot of the novel Wizard of the Crow by Ungugiwan Tiongo. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so that you get notified when the video on the themes in the novel is uploaded. Ungugi's Wizard of the Crow easily has been one of the most satirical African postcolonial novel I have come across. Though fetitious, it's unapologetically and of course with a very unique kind of sarcasm bring to clear view the problems and consequences of most of the decolonized African country. So, Ungugi is a well-acclaimed Kenyan novelist. He's also a playwright and a poet and a critic whose literary works have posed threats from his country's government to his very own life. So this novel, Wizard of the Crow, has been a huge comeback to the government of his country from his experience as a one-time Kenyan prisoner whose offense was criticizing the then Kenyan politics through his work. So, the novel Wizard of the Crow tells the story of an African nation called Aburiria and the people who struggle to gain power over it. For instance, book one of the novel, which is titled Power Demons, introduces the reader to the unnamed ruler who has had power for decades but is now sick uh, with a mysterious illness. So at a national ceremony, the ruler announces the new Marching to Heaven project which involves building a skyscraper so high that he will be able to communicate directly with God. So, the ruler plans to ask the global bank for a loan to finance its construction. That is the construction of the marching to heaven. So, his power-hungry ministers such as Machokali and Sikyoku are present during the ceremony as is also the artist called John Kani Ryu, who created the image of the Marching to Heaven project. So, during the announcement, a protest by the anti-government group called Movement for the Voice of the People interrupted the announcement, and there was an abrupt stop to the announcement. Then later, we have a character called Kamiti, a poor man out of a job, and the novel's protagonist. He goes to the Edares Construction Company, which belongs to Tajirika, one of the uh, ministers. So, there, the CEO, Titus Tajirika, brutally humiliates and turns in a way. Tajirika is eventually announced as the chairman for Marching to Heaven project. So, Kamit meet the secretary of Tajirika, which is called Unyawira, and they talk briefly about their past. Later, the Global Bank arrived to the Hotel Paradise. The, the name of the hotel is Hotel Paradise. And uh, we saw that uh, all those people who were there to protest, we are sent away. We are sent away. So, Kamita, Kamiti, who is there to beg for money, is swept off in another protest by the movement for the voice of the people. And then Kamiti flees, running into Unyawira. And to scare away two police officers who follow them, Kamiti poses as the wizard of the crow a powerful and popular sorcerer in the Kenya society in the sorry in the Aburira uh, country in the context of this novel so the long seeming endless queue 
that had begun to form outside Edares Construction Company because several men, several people were jobless and they were looking for job in the LRS construction company. The Kiuna relocate to the front of Uyawira's house, which has become the shrine for the wizard of the crow. Then one day, Tajirika's wife, which is called Virginia, takes him to consult the wizard of the crow. Note that the wizard of the crow is Kamiti. Who was looking for job in the LRS construction company owned by Tajrika that Tajrika humiliated him and sent him away, even though Kamiti had good educational background and even studied in India. So when the wife of Tajrika takes him to the wizard of the crow, um Tajrika is diagonized with white arch. And the white art is explained to be a longing for white skin. Not white art as maybe any kind of pain. It is longing for white skin. So the wizard of the scroll <laughs> who has confiscated three bags of money from Tajrika buries them in the backyard. Because that was the money he charged Tajrika in order for him to heal Tajrika of his white art. And the wizard of crow is repulsed by the sight and smell of the money. So he buried there in the backyard. So overwhelmed by the number of clients he has, and they agreed, Kamiti runs away to the forest. After orchestrating another protest that the dedication ceremony for marching to heaven, the protest was at the dedication ceremony for marching to heaven, and uh, being subsequently identified by the police, Uyawira also flees to the forest to go and meet Kamiti. Uh, and there, uh, they got intimate, they made love, and uh, their relationship was consummated from that time. And also, note that Kamiti has done a kind of incantation and then charm for someone who was seeking for promotion and then by that either coincidentally or, or what i would call it uh, uh the person got the promotion and then because of that several others even including policemen began to kill always at the shrine of the wizard of the crow now both uh committee and Uya would have run to the forest, and then in the forest, they got intimate, they have sexual affair, they consummated their relationship. So the ruler hears that the global bank has not decided to give Abria its loan for marching to heaven project. Note that the global bank is not located in Kenya or in Aburiria. It is located in the New York. So when the the ruler, which is nameless in the novel, did not hear from the global bank. He, um, uh, they asked for the ruler to make adjustment. That is his minister asked of him that he will make the project more viable. So the ruler arranges to go to New York to see the global bank directly. So Kamita goes to see his parent. And Uyawira takes over as wizard of the crow. Now that the ruler is away, they return from the forest. And then they continue. And then Kamiti went to go and see uh, his own parents. So Kamiti is taken in by the government for questioning. When he's head alongside Tajrika. So Tajrika blames the wizard of the crow for all his troubles. So the wizard of the crow is requested to come to New York where the ruler has fallen in and so that he can he the ruler so meanwhile tajrika's wife enlists uyawira's help to get her husband to stop beating her so when the wizard of the crow arrived in new york he discovered that the ruler has mysteriously begun to swear so the ruler is unable to speak to the global bank and make plans to return home. So committee also returns to Abururia, leaving a note behind for Machokali that spread the rumor 
that the ruler is pregnant. So an American envoy arrived in Abruria and pressured the ruler who is already pregnant both to abdicate the presidency and to transition Abruria to a democratic uh, a nation. Initially, he says by the rumors of his pregnancy, the ruler repurposed the rumor to claim that he has given birth to baby D. The D represents democracy. So, Machokali has also disappeared. Uh, it is rumored that he has been assassinated. So, Kamiti and Uya Uya makes plans to get married. The Global Bank rejects the loan application entirely. So, the novel ends with Uya Uya spotting AG, which is one of the ruler's former police officers, telling the story of the Wizard of the Crow. Then she thanked him for helping save Kamiti from Kaniru. Because when Kamiti proposes to uh, Uya Wira that is going to marry Uya Wira, Kaniru, who was the former husband of Uya Wira, shot Kamiti. But luckily, Kamiti did not die. And then at the end of the novel, both Kamiti and Uya Wira plan to get married. So they were planning to get married. And then the project of uh, matching web has been abandoned because there was no money to finance it. And now that uh, uh, democracy, the, the president, the, 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 the detector have decided to allow democracy to thrive, then another person will be the one to decide, another ruler who will come in will be the one to decide whether there will be any form of uh, uh, matching to heaven project or not. So Tajrika, decided to announce himself as the new ruler and then promising that uh, democracy is going to take its course in the Aburiria uh, Republic. So the novel ends with that hope that both democracy and, uh, and the people's voice will be the one to determine the who whoever will be the nation's uh, uh, president and also the voice of the people will now matter just as the movement for the voice of the people we are protesting against almost all the decision of the uh, despotic ruler now democracy has returned and there was hope and um, they were optimistic also that Unya Wira and Kamiti will get married and democracy will last long in the country of Aburiria so that was the end of the novel and um, remember to subscribe because we are going to be uploading the videos on the characters and the roles that each character play in the novel uh in the subsequent or uh, maybe um in the next few days so make sure you subscribe to the channel so that when we upload it you will get notified thank you and have a good day